This tutorial is the second of the RPS tutorials and shows the functions of the editor page. The editor is divided into six different sections. The clip control, where you select different clips, and underneath where you can set the range of the clips. The grid editor or piano display, the grid editor or piano roll display, and the tools used for editing in the piano roll. At the foot of the screen is the velocity and automation editor and at the top is the clip menu. To open the clip menu, click on the triangle symbol. The submenus available are the clip categories divided first into instruments and then into musical genre. This is what our loaded patch sounds like. I can scroll through different clips but keep the same sound set. or I can completely change the category. I'll put in a bass clip. You can create interesting effects by putting, for example, a drum clip on a guitar sound set. If you want to delete a loaded or edited clip, just press Reset. To load a file that's not located in the library directory, go to Open Clip. This opens your system's file selector and you can load a sound file from anywhere on your computer. To save a clip or a variation on an existing clip, select Save Clip. Choose a name and location and save. The clip info shows you any text info for the clip such as author, copyright, etc. Finally, and very importantly, is the import MIDI function. Here you can import any standard MIDI file without size restrictions, which means you can import an entire MIDI song and use add to remix it. The imported file goes straight into the currently selected bank. The 16 possible MIDI channels are mapped to the 16 clips. In the clip section you control which clips are loaded and selected. You can load up to 128 different clips in the 8 banks, A to H. 16 clips for each bank. Clicking on a bank or number selects that clip and updates the piano roll and parameter screens. Below the clip control are the rage parameters that allow you to assign different clips to different ranges of your keyboard, each with its own set of parameters. The clip plays if the trigger note is within the range of the high and low keys. The root defines which key will play the clip without transposing it. Let's play an example with our patch, Bamboos. Patch. Bamboos is a clip set composed of just one clip, shown here. The range of this clip has been set at maximum, as it's the only clip in the clip set. Let's map it again and put it on just one note, C3. Now it will play on that one note and nowhere else. Now I'll open another clip on A2 that looks and sounds like this. Put it on D3 and it plays just on D3. Here's the previous clip on C3. Let's open a third clip and map it from E3 to G8 with the root key on E3. Here's our first clip. The, first clip. the second. And the third, covering the rest of the keyboard.
So now we can play all the three clips together. The piano roll or grid editor is similar to those in many host sequences. At the top is the snap menu and to the right is the timeline. A click on snap brings up the menu where you can set the snap value and determine what division of the bar the notes can be positioned. The highlighted area of the bar numbers indicates the loop being played. Use the left mouse button to set the start point and the right mouse button to set the end point of the loop. The piano roll has been designed to make work fast and intuitive. All basic functions can be accessed through the left and right mouse buttons. To insert a note, click in empty space with the mouse button. If you keep the button pressed, you can create and move the note in one action. You can also select and move existing notes with the left mouse button. To change the length of a note, click and hold with the left mouse button and drag to the left or right. To copy a note, hold CTRL and click with the left mouse button. Drag the note to where you want to copy. To erase a note, click with the right mouse button. If you click an empty space with the right mouse button, you begin a selection point. Keep the button pressed and drag a rectangle selecting all desired notes, then release the button. The selected notes are shown with a black border. On the left are additional tools you can use for editing notes. They are Undo Undoes the last edit performed Redo Cancels the undo and redoes the last edit All Selects all events None Deselects all events Copy Copy selected events to the clipboard allowing you to copy selected events onto another clip number assigned to a different instrument, etc. Paste inserts the copied selection at the current bar. Delete deletes the selected events and cut deletes them but also copies them to the clipboard, ready to be pasted. Quantize time quantizes the start times of all selected notes according to the current snap setting. Quantize length. Quantizes the duration of all selected notes according to the current snap value. Velocity plus. Increases the velocity of all selected notes by 10. And velocity minus does the opposite and decreases the value by 10.